Hello and welcome to Why Did They Wear That? The show that investigates the reason why people wore that through history. In this video today, we'll be exploring the history of the tea dress. We'll be looking at how this garment started as an inside informal dress worn by women in the morning or to have tea with their friends in to a garment that was pivotal to the war effort throughout World War II. The Victorian wrapper dress was a garment worn inside the home by women when they were doing house chores or would be staying at home for an extended period of time. It was a highly private and informal garment, just worn around close family members and members of the household. The design could either be simple or elaborate depending on class. It was unstructured and could be put on by just the wearer as it had a basic wraparound fastening in the front or side. It was made to match the fashionable silhouette of the time, but just without the boning, rigid structure and complicated layers. During the 1870s, a new garment which was similar to the wrapper dress was introduced. The tea gown was a garment which could be worn informally and formally around one's home. More expensive or lavish fabrics were used for tea gowns as they were used more for when female guests were coming into the home or for evening meals with just the close family. So formality and expense needed to be implemented onto the dress rather than it being for chores or for normal indoor wear. The fact that this dress didn't need to be put on with a maid or with a corset is really a strength of a garment. It was adopted by dress reformers who wanted clothing to be more comfortable, practical and suitable for women to do a variety of activities and work. During these years, the tea gown became widely accepted around and outside the home. For example, outside on the porch or in the garden, in the dining room and for occasions with close family and friends at their homes. It was branching out. A day tea gown would have a higher neckline and be lighter in colour with simpler fabrics, whilst the evening gown would have a lower neckline with finer fabrics and richer colours. It became a staple in women's wardrobe by the 19-teens, with it becoming commonly worn for both social occasions, especially casual tea events with family and friends. By the 1920s, afternoon tea and garden parties became all the rage. These events were semi-formal, so the tea dress from early years had to become far more ornate for these events. White was a common colour for high society, as white was hard to maintain, so it showed wealth and luxury. The silhouette had really shifted from the S shape, the waistline dropped and there was no cinching in the waist. This came from the natural progression of dress reform and also from the impact of the First World War, where women had to become more practical and have garments that suited the labour they had to do when their men were out fighting. The First World War occurred in 1914 to 1918 and the Second World War occurred in 1939 to 1945. These two wars impacted dress dramatically and how women wore dress. The first, as mentioned before, really helped cement the need for practicality from women's wear, with clothing being less restrictive and more free-flowing. The Second World War had women needing to wear trousers and material-saving clothing. Practicality was at the forefront here, with the introduction of utility dress being introduced in 1941. This is where the tea dress we all know is developed. Inspired by the men's shirts and uniform, the tea dress is for doing daily work. It had a strong shoulder, button-down shirt and a short A-line skirt that hit just below the knee. Underneath there would be brassiers, girdles, corselets and knickers, which were not usually boned but instead used elastic to keep the shape of the body smooth with a soft hourglass. This meant that for formality's sake, these dresses were more practical and comfortable. Due to war restricting fabric use, tea dresses were often worn for all occasions for middle and lower class people. For dancers in the evening, it wouldn't be surprising seeing women wearing their day dresses or a tea dress. After the war, the tea dress began to grow in size. With the new look by Dior taking the fashion world by storm, it meant that the simple, slim and austere tea dress was about to have a lot more fabric, shape and glamour added to it. Now, the tea dress had cemented in this time period as the 1950s housewife who is wearing a tea dress with her apron. In conclusion, the tea dress is one of history's most distinctly feminine garments. Its journey through time was marked by reinvention, to meet the needs of the domestic, the social and the civic woman. Its shape, cut and cosmetic appearance altered to empower each successive generation of women to feel comfortable in and out of the home. Its legacy clearly shows why so many women chose to wear it. Thank you for listening and watching and this has been Why Did They Wear That?